السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته. What's going on, Abibis? I'm Siraj Hashmi. I'm Jack Kobe. And with Habibi Bros, welcome to another episode of Habibi Power Hour. Jay, what are you doing? Practicing for later. He's. I he, don't yeah. know much. That's actually too much hand, Jay. But I know I love you. You need the only thing. <laughs> You're trying to practice. You gotta go just with one, th- one finger, one finger, one thumb, one finger, it's, it's one that, thumb. It's that small. Welcome, happy <laughs> and ha- and and you know what? Happy uh, Valentine's Day. Yes, happy to everyone who celebrates. To to everyone who celebrates. That's right. If you celebrate today, like we do, which is what exactly what we mean by Jay practicing for later. Right. Valentine's Day is every day for the Habibis. That's true. That's that's what that is. I hope I hope somebody out there, one of the Habibis out there, you know, ate their significant other's asses for I, Valentine's Day. I thought you were Day. just about to say ate their significant other, period. Period. <laughs> the straight can't Well, I mean, them. also, if she's on her period, eat it out as well. Whatever, whatever you can do to help. This is supposedly a family show, Jay. <laughs> Since when? It's starting families. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Starting families. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yes. So how, how was Valentine's for you? Did you get any boinking done? By you, yes. Mm. By my, my wife, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she fell asleep on the couch and then you and Classic. I made sweet love. Uh, to friends. On the TV as well, which is so. uh, The funny thing about Friends is that um, uh, watching it as an adult, sort of like after having gone through a bunch of life events, it's uh, a much more relatable show. And also, I don't know where this like retconning of Friends started and thinking it wasn't funny. The show's funny. Oh, it's to be cool. It's like people who think Seinfeld isn't funny. They think that they're they're they know something other people don't. Yeah, I know. I love I love it when I edge you though. That's yeah, me too. So, would you rather be gooning or edging? Um, I don't know what gooning means, so I'm gonna go with edging. <laughs> Unless gooning has anything to do with the Goonies, i.e., John Featherman, in which case, gooning. Wait, wait, is that the like hugging the? Uh, yeah. Oh, that was from Goonies. That's from the Goonies. I've never, I've never watched the Goonies. I've never watched the Goonies. Well, probably, probably watch you know, yeah. yeah, maybe we should watch it. Maybe we should do it on locals. We'll do a local stream watch party. The Goonies. Just the Goonies. Just the Goonies, and uh, we'll watch it naked behind a paywall. Right. Wait. Hold <laughs> on. Juice. I think we should be fully clothed, like sitting in the hot, hot, hot Florida sun. Mm. You know, just suffering because the Habibis pay. <laughs> or pay us on locals specifically to, get, to put uh, to get us to put clothes on. It's like the reverse OnlyFans, right? It really is. Speaking of OnlyFans, you know who got fired for having one? The uh, Tucson teacher, Rachel Dolezal. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel Do- Dolezal, the black woman. The Tucson teacher. The black woman. Uh, I'm. I know her only as an OnlyFans model, Jay. Oh, oh. So she got fired, man. I feel bad for that. Yeah. Like, what, what kind of OnlyFans was she doing? I don't know. She probably was talking about, like, Biden inflation. I doubt it. I think she was talking about it, like, maybe through her asshole, probably. On an it's OnlyFans. black there. The blackest part of her. Of her body. <laughs> right. The only black part of her body, for sure. Uh Speaking about about black people, have you seen Fanny Willis on <laughs> <laughs> what a second. on trial? <laughs> okay, so this woman probably should have an OnlyFans, or the way that she's been conducting her office, you would think she has an OnlyFans, right? Only Fanny, only Fanny. Shit, man! Can you imagine if any of these people were your lawyer? God damn! But she's a. She's a prosec- She's a district attorney, right? Aren't they lawyers? No, no, I know, but like, she's the she's the uh, the she's lawyer. A, she's the lawyer for the state of Georgia or the city of Atlanta, whatever. Fulton County. Fal- Fulton County. Um, and she was overseeing the the case against Trump. Mm-hmm. Uh, she lied about her relationship 
uh, with, with uh, this black guy. I don't know his name. He was a special prosecutor. Yes. So she, she brought in us. So she has an entire office of of lawyers on her staff. Nathan Wade. Thank Nathan, you. So Nathan Wade, she brought him in specifically to like assist in prosecuting Trump, but she was sleeping with the guy. Right. Was she married or was Nathan married? Uh, dude, that's a good question. I don't know if any any of them were married by the time this relationship happened or not. Uh, our producer is going to go fact check. Yeah, that. our producer. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but because they they lied about it and she she brought him on as a special prosecutor, she's going through a hearing right now, and basically she's in a lot of shit, like. Shit, shit. Like I mean, Rachel Dolezal all shit. No, like worse, worse than that. I think she's going to get uh, disbarred. Even. You think disbarred straight up? Oh, hell yeah. I mean, it just depends In on the her. In the state of Georgia? Well, I mean, it's not like all they have is fried chicken and and. Oh, uh, I was just saying because it's, com- it's, a, it's a compromised commie state now. It is. With the exception of Brad, Brian <laughs> Kemp, who's basically a lib. I wouldn't. I wouldn't go that far in saying he's a like a lib lib, but they they are compromised because. Think about right how now, bad you gotta be to lose to him twice, i.e., Stacey Abrams. Actually, she beat him one. She actually did. She's she, she's, she's still, still the still rightful would, governor. Well, governor of, of imagine <laughs> imagine how bad you have to be to lose to the two senators that they have right now. So that was David Perdue, Kelly Loeffler. Was there another election that happened? No, the two the two senators of Georgia right now that uh, yeah the, the commie uh, commie John, pastor uh, John Ossoff and Raphael and John Warnock Ossoff, yes so imagine Georgia's how bad you have problems. to be yeah to lose to those two in a deep red state that was Georgia yeah it's not was. it's not yeah it was do you think do you think Hollywood had anything to do with that they were doing a lot of productions out there do you think they just basically I think Israel put something in the water. <laughs> so, as we're going on with with Fanny Willis, there's a um, there's a bunch of clips that we wanted to go over. Honestly, uh, you, you would wonder like it would be something a producer would do, right? Spencer said that yeah, he was like, married to move to move the the um, the discussion along. Right, he'll bring up like certain clips that we wanted to go on yeah, to discuss react, and yeah. just react to and and everything. Because usually, you and I are just going to go on a tangent and end up sucking each other's dick for like thirty minutes. Right. If that's what Spencer wants to see. How old is Spencer? Spencer's old enough to talk about this stuff, right? Yeah, we didn't hire any minors. Are you okay. kidding me? Perfect. I just wanted to make sure. I mean, sure, they're both children. Well, because there was a there was a Spencer Sachs that I met on Epstein Island. And then so I just I wanted to make hundred percent sure. Okay, here we go. So this this right here is uh NBC talking about, I think talking about how uh in deep shit Fanny Willis is. Go ahead and push play. It's so legalistic centric and yet so important and fascinating. Right. Don't let the legalese fool you. This is epic. This is monumental. If things are going in the direction we think uh, Fonnie Willis lied to the court, it's game over for her. She will be disqualified um, if they had a relationship prior to when they uh, represented to, to the court. It's it's a huge deal. I, I can't overstate it. And do you think it's so legalistic centric and yet so important and fact? So this is just some, do we know who this MSNBC uh, guest is? Just some legal analyst, right? Uh, yes, she's a legal analyst for are MSNBC. Doing, are you are you texting on your phone? I apologize. This is how this is how we get derailed here. Yeah, th- no, you're absolutely right. It's gone. So yes, she is a MSN uh, MSNBC legal analysis. Um, and for and you should have seen what CNN's legal analysis uh, tweeted out. Just, legal anal assist. Anal assist. Who that tweeted out just a couple of days ago. Mm-hmm. Talking about how uh, he firmly stands with with uh, Fanny. Fanny Willis, and this, the whole thing is going to blow over. Was it Jeffrey Tubin? It wasn't Jeffrey Tubin. Yeah. I'll show you. I'll, I'll bring I don't it up. Think right he now. has a contributor. Because you think know, he has I, a contract with CNN anymore. I, I retweeted it. Hold on one second. Oh, great. Here it is. So, uh, Norm uh, Eason. Norm. Norm. Norm well, Eisen. That... Norm, Norm Eisen. 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 Oh, the guy from Bleach? Bleach? 
The anime. You've never watched Bleach? It's Wait, one of the Nor- big three. No, no, I know, I know. It's the one of the big three, but Norm Eisen? That's Eisen. A- the Eisen's the last name Eisen. Mm-hmm. That's uh the protagonist. Oh. In that was Eason. Uh, no, Eisen. Or the villain, one of the main villains. It's been a while. It, it well, it has been, but they have a new one out right now that they've read up. Um, it's pretty good. Thousand Year War Blood Arc. Are we are we getting off on a tangent on animes? A little bit. I mean, it's yeah, one of the big well three. So I just have to learn it. At this point, well, actually, well, hentai is what's happening with Fanny Willis. Yeah, she's getting fucked in all places, <laughs> tentacly. We need we need a Fanny Willis hentai, is what we're saying. Yes, we do. So this is normalizing basically saying I absolutely credit Willis's testimony. She is telling the truth. She started out understandably angry, but she has settled down in this compelling. Get the very oh given the very tough law for the defendants that i explained if she keeps on she will defeat the motion you know i feel like he was coerced into tweeting that because it's black history month yeah it, it honestly it could have been and because no guy named norm eisen is you know the he's probably ha- he, he has probably two has a, he has at least two brain cells you can't be he can't be posting this unless he's like under duress Blink, uh, blink twice if you're on if you're if you're being held hostage in in Gaza right now, Norm. <laughs> no, you know what he looks like? He looks like one of those one of those guys with a black wife who completely dominates his whole life. Oh yeah, like, and like that, that's like his identity. That's his identity. It's like that, that dominated. What's well. the name of that comedian that we've? Uh, Bill Burr. No, no. <laughs> no, no, the other one. Bill Burr doesn't make. Uh, him marrying a black woman and like his entire identity. No, no, he doesn't. But that's, that's why it's the joke. Fuck you, Jay. Which I'll do to you later. Anyway, absolutely, I so, can't wait. So uh, I would like the the first uh, clip of her testimony up, so we can go over that. What? We have clips of her testimony. Wait. Oh, Herschel Walker was the other person. Running against Raphael Warnock, I just remembered. <laughs> Remember Herschel Walker? <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, that was so long ago, man. So, so here's here's one that's been tweeted out by uh, Breaking Nine One One. He also said that he was a world traveler and had been on many of the continents. Have been to six. Have you been on any of those continents with him? Um. Besides this one. Uh, where's the <laughs> What continent? I'm not being funny. I don't know. Uh, let's say with the I've exception been to of the Belize with him. I've been to the Bahamas with him. I've been with Aruba with him. Don't embarrass me. I'm not sure what continents those are on. Whatever continents those are, that's where I've been. I'm sure if I gave it some thought, I would tell you. But whatever continents those are that I've been to those locations, sir. But this is also, what continent is hold Bahama? On. How does it, how, hold on. How does she how does she have the position she holds and doesn't understand what a continent is? That can't that's that cannot be real. That's AI. I don't believe it. That's not a real clip. Well, honestly, AI is getting fucking insane. I and know. dude, just wait. There's more. Shit. Play the next one, guys. I mean, there's so so much more. Wait. Do we know what the next one is? No, I don't. I'm just <laughs> waiting for for um, Spencer to to get something. Over. Okay, so Fanny Willis. So the next one, hopefully, a, it's so either like going to be Bahamas, Aruba. I don't know if those are other continents. <laughs> don't embarrass me here. I don't know. Wow, uh, is China, Korea? I don't know. As if it wasn't embarrassing enough to be sleeping with someone that you're supposedly working with. Well, well, uh, hold on. She was sleeping I've, with them before she brought I've, him on, right? I've I've done a lot of that. What, Jay? So I don't think we need to like shame people for no. loving other people. Like love is love, all right? It doesn't matter if you work in the same office or not. Okay? I get that. Like just because I went through like four or five <laughs> <laughs> doesn't make me an office whore. Jay, it makes you the office whore. The one and only. Go ahead, play that shit. <laughs> Cash at the house. That has been, I don't know. All my life. If you're a woman and you go on a date with a man, you better have two hundred dollars in your pocket. So if that man acts up, you can go where you want to go. So I keep cash what? in my house, and I don't keep cash as good in my purse like I used to. Um, I don't go on many dates, but when you go on a date, you should have cash in your pocket. So my question what was, where did that cash originally come from? 
if it didn't come out of the bank. Cash is uh, fungible. We had cash for years in my house. So for me to tell you the source of when it comes from, when you go to Publix and you buy something, you get fifty dollars, you throw it in there. When it's been my whole life, when I took out a large amount of money on my first campaign, I kept some of the cash of that. Like to tell you, <laughs> hold on, no, 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 I I said rewind. Have cash in my house, I don't have as much today. It is amazing. House. It is absolutely amazing. I need to cash, hear that shit. Again. Cash is fun, fun, fungible. I just have cash around. Cash is here. Cash is there. Cash she, is here. She totally, there. she totally cash. learned fungible from the from the beginning. Uh, play it from the beginning. Yeah, we got to play that from the beginning. But I always have cash at the house. That has been, I don't know, all my life. If you're a woman and you go on a date with a man, you better have two hundred dollars in your pocket. So if that man acts up, you can go where you want to go. So I keep cash in my house, and I don't keep cash as good in my purse like I used to. Um, I don't go on many dates, but when you go on a date, you should have cash in your pocket. So my question was, where did that cash originally come from? If it didn't come out of the bank, cash is a uh, <laughs> Fungible. We had cash for years in my house. So for me to tell you the source of when it comes from, when you go to Publix and you buy something, you get fifty dollars, you throw it in there. When it's been my whole life, when I took out a large amount of money on my first campaign, I kept some of the cash of that. Like to tell you, Wait. I just have cash in my house. I don't have as much today but as she, I would. She just admits her embezzling campaign funds. Just said when I took cash out of my campaign. She just said that. Rewind she it. She said I kept cash from my campaign. From my right, campaign. Yeah, rewind, rewind it just a bit. A little bit more. A little bit more. Okay, play. Right here. My whole life, when I took out a large amount of money on my first campaign, I kept some of the cash of that. Like to tell you, I just have, you, have cash in my house. I don't have as much. Okay, they, like they can keep it to like pay off, pay like back vendors and stuff like that. I don't know what. Look. It's a state race. They have their own. They have their own laws. Oh, so state by state by state laws right. can can dictate. Like if it was a federal election, then it would fall under the purview of the FEC. So, like, let's say, like Desantes, he got all this campaign money, right? And he got out of uh, the, race. the race, right? He can't just. It's not like his personal piggy bank to pay. It's not supposed to be your personal piggy bank, but you can reappropriate. Yeah, to like his like if he's running again in Florida, for instance. Yeah, then he can use that as campaign money so, for Florida, but he can't take cash out and go to Publix, basically, and pay groceries. If he gets caught, that's unless a, unless like you know he like said it was for like a party or some shit. No, no, know, I get you, like receipts, yeah. campaign type of thing. Yeah, but, uh, not like just no, no, no. Keep but money I mean, like and, lying about it, right? Like she just straight up admitted it. I know. Well. And also, she's like, "Look, as a strong, independent woman, I keep two hundred dollars in my pocket because you never know when a when a man will act up." By the way, like th when when you have when you go on a date and a man is acting up, isn't the first thing that a woman's instinct is, if not walking away, is usually break out the pepper spray or if they got like a shank or I don't know a gun. Like, uh, act, what does she mean by acting up, dude? I don't know. They live a different kind of lifestyle than I do. I can't. I can't tell you what the acting up means or not. <laughs> like acting up uh, to me would mean like you know spazzing out. No, beating the shit out of the woman because she wouldn't stop talking. I'm an Arab. Like we live I'm in different abusive. fucking. <laughs> His name is Abu Yusuf. <laughs> Abusive. All right, let's keep playing this today as Does anybody I want to date normally me? have but i'm building back up now so you just put money in it's a very good practice i would advise it to all women so you can't identify when you came into this cash or where the cash came from i didn't say i couldn't identify it no, nobody gives me anything i am sure that the source of the money is always the work sweat and tears of me what you asked me for is wait 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 pause it rewind it just a little bit again because wait, she just said tears of me of me but oh. she's like i don't know where it came from and but i no, took it from my campaign my first and then campaign then and then she's no like gives me anything yeah no one gives me anything what is this woman on and where can i get that dude i don't fucking know i don't i have no idea this is fucking insane you remember how these same people were calling trump narcissist and a liar and all that kind of stuff I don't know. This is this is very all of what they were saying Trump was. It's almost like they were projecting. Well, yeah, because they, they that's all they do. 
That is all they fucking do. It is it is literally in the rules in that rules for radicals book that is stereotypically quoted by right wingers and also parodied by people on the left making fun of the right. Right. Because one of the rules is uh, accuse your opponent that which you're guilty of. Yes. Get it out first that right. they that they, they do were it. doing that shit. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. He licks balls. Yes. He licks balls. In my defense, yes. I eat ass. He licks balls. Meatballs. Oh, yeah. We had good meatballs. Yeah, we had good meatballs. Yeah, we did. <laughs> Jay nearly fucked that up. <laughs> well, no, I asked for two-thirds of a cup of water, Jay. I you just came heard two cups. Cup. You came heard, with two cups. I did. I know. I yeah. Usually, I don't fuck up when I'm cooking, Jay. but we did good. And we, they, did they good. Came we, out, we recovered. Hey, we they recovered came out well. moist as fuck. They were pretty moist. They Those were some good. moist balls. They were moisty balls. Moist meatballs. Moisty balls. Anyways. We should do a cooking show. I'm not even kidding. No, we should. In the meantime, let's let's uh, let's watch this snack over here. Fanny I mean, Willis. Amazing Terry Masu. You can't identify when you came into this cash or where the cash came from. I didn't say I couldn't identify it. No, nobody gives me anything. I am sure that the source of the money is always the work, sweat, and tears of me. What you asked me for is when did the money go in there? What I am trying to tell you is, so I got divorced in 2005 from my husband. And, and so, <laughs> no, 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 it's important. You said, where did the money come from? Mr. And I will tell you where the money came from. So for me. Honestly, she deserves a medal for the amount of like, <laughs> oh, this is like mental gymnastics I'm seeing. I don't know how she does it. This is the best roller coaster ride I've this been on in a beautiful. fucking while. This is fucking beautiful. This Let's keep amazing. this going. Honestly, I actually didn't put any other topic uh, in the <laughs> description. I only put Fanny Willis because of this shit. Let's keep going. Many, many years, I have kept money in my house. That money in my worst days has probably only been $500 or $1,000. At my best days, I probably had $15,000 in my house at Kate cash at all times there's going to be cash in my house or wherever i'm laying my head the money that you paid mr wade the cash wherever i'm laying my head waltz right in his lap it's her balls like one whichever one i do she's laying i mean if she's going to the bombs with the guy she's laying her head on the balls no you lay you rest your chin on the balls or no the balls rest on your chin what? <laughs> Hit play, Spencer. <laughs> you know which job it came from. Did it come from Fulton County or did it come from a private job? It came from, I don't, I'm not a, what are you talking about? So it, it could have come from, from a, of a private job because before I was VA, I was in private practice. So I earned money during that time period that's probably in there. You don't it know could what. have. She has no idea where the money is in. That's beautiful. No idea. Honestly, I'm envious of that that type of that takes talent right there, Jay. That type of lying. That type of confusion. Like that is <laughs> that is like misdirection, like every which way. Honestly, I could not figure out what she was on about. Like I'm I'm gonna be dead honest with you. I you know, Jay, when we watch a clip, you and I are able to like watch it and then analyze it and then come out with some sort of either cogent or retarded point most times retarded right this one i can't there's nothing i can do it with this one there it's it, it's it really hurts I've the brain to out. even talk about it's, like it's, been, so a long, it's been a long day of a long week <laughs> so you you robbed the bank look when i got divorced in 1998 <laughs> i was going through some I was, things i, I went to the sandwich shop and look i'm a I, I love america through and through this this is my money through uh through me <laughs> my blood sweat and come. <laughs> I, I did this. Imagine if they changed one of those words, blood, sweat, and tears to come. <laughs> Honestly, with AI, we should do that. We should that's that's the way it should, come, should go. Come sweat and tears. And uh, we got Papa B coming in. Dim's not knowing they are nar also narcissists is like Jay not knowing why he got pink eye. First of all, whoa, look at this. That's from me. Look how clear. Look, <laughs> look at this. Look at that. You see this, Papa Papa P? It's because I taught your mom how to use a bidet. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, shit. Go for it. Uh, Fanny Willis. Much less cash that time. 
probably four or $500. And then I paid for uh, a bunch of stuff. I think we did two different wine tours that you do, which are pretty expensive. Um, I think I bought him. He likes wine. I don't really like wine, to be honest with you. I like Grey Goose. Um, like I bought Grey Goose. Wine while we were there and the sippings that you do. I, I can't remember how many, like four or five different places you go. I like remember we went four, to like five, five different places. Bro, this is straight out of like Arrested Development right here. I know it really is. Like you just listen to this and like this is this is television writers couldn't write it this well. No, honestly, no. I, and and uh, somebody had a tweet earlier on that was amazing, talking about how insane uh, how insane it's been with Trump. Even though Trump isn't in office, he mm-hmm. still is giving us the best type of drama we've ever seen in our lives. Bro, that is that is not even a TV show. Yo, it's, this is all because of Trump. This is what you're getting for more yes. years of Trump. This is what you could be rewarded with. <laughs> <laughs> this is our reward, okay? No, this is exactly This is right. exactly... All right. The, every, the, Jay, this is pure karma, okay? Yeah. It is. Because not, not for Fannie Willis. I'm talking about for us, the American people. We get to watch this and be like, holy shit. This is the most entertaining thing I've seen since Trump ran for president in 2016. Exactly right. Um, or uh, runner up Johnny Depp, Amber Heard. Oh God! Oh man, that trial was insane. That's absolutely <laughs> fucking true. Especially when they were getting to the point where she shat on her bed, <laughs> or shat on his bed, what, or something. What like, was it so was bad? Of- what was so bad about that time is I think I was just starting uh, my job at Rumble and. Um, I just didn't have time. Like I was so focused on like doing well that I didn't like want, I didn't pay attention to anything that was happening with Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. Right. So I felt like I actually missed out on the cultural moment. Yeah. No, it, it honestly, it absolutely was a cultural moment. But you know, it who, opened, you know, it who did, you know, who kept me uh, uh, up to date on uh, all the Johnny Depp, Amber Heard stuff. Well, Jenna, Jenna. Yeah. It because Jenna. I think it's because she also craps the bed. <laughs> <laughs> it's relatable it's related <laughs> she, now now she knows that she's not the only one with that kink out Love there you, you know what i mean yeah <laughs> she's totally gonna like unplug this shit <laughs> shut it down she's shutting down the stream <laughs> it's over uh no look habibi it's it's fine kinks are are kinks everybody has kinks a everybody kinks. has a kink all right let's keep playing and and fanny willis is embezzling yeah. campaign money to pay for fucking wine wine trips Drinks. Um, that was the most expensive thing that I think that we did while we were there. So they would pair, uh, they, they would pair uh, champagne, chocolate, and champagne, chocolate, and caviar. It was a three, and it was like three different things: Sweden, champagne, Russia, chocolate, and caviar. So that up. But um, that that was the most expensive thing we did that trip, and I paid for, I paid for that. You pay cash for us doing that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I, but I. Uh, ch- wait. What was it? It was champagne, champagne, chocolate, chocolate and caviar. And caviar, champagne, and it was a, it was part of a she wine never, tour. And Jay, she never spent anything on coffee. The nerve of that lady! The nerve of that lady not Jay, spending anything on Jay, coffee. That's, on a, that's why on a, she did some. On a scale of one to ten, though, how much do you hate shitty coffee? Well, like if if ten is the worst, it's a sixty nine. Yeah, I, I mean, I really, really hate shitty coffee, which is why I'm so excited to introduce you all to a company revolting against shitty coffee. 1775 Coffee <laughs> Company. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, and it's great that they call them the, themselves that because, you know, in 1775, the world awakened to a new era. And now 1775 Coffee Co. is bringing you a coffee that embodies the revolutionary spirit. Crafted with passion and precision, our beans are ethically and exclusively sourced from the finest coffee bo- coffee farms of Bolivia. 1775's Coffee Company's Farm to Comp German- journey ensures the highest quality, authenticity, and sustainability from start to finish. With each sip, your palate will re- recognize and appreciate the dedication and passion that goes into crafting this single sourced brew. 1775 Coffee Company takes pride in offering customers a truly exceptional 
coffee experience, their premium coffee. <laughs> <laughs> knocking over this mic but the dedication to this revolution extends beyond the realm of taste safeguard and freedom of speech is critical right now which is why 1775 coffee co has joined forces with rumble in defense of one of our most fundamental rights freedom of speech freedom of speech coffee that's sure to awaken all senses including the sense of freedom sense of freedom so choose 1775 coffee by going to 70 1775coffee.com forward slash coffee bros and use coffee bros for 10 percent off at checkout on your first order that's right this is our jihad against shitty fucking coffee that's 1775coffee.com forward slash coffee bros and use coffee bros for 10 percent off at, at um at checkout and when you opt in on a subscription, Jay, I heard that it's uh, it's less than 70 cents per cup of coffee. Yeah, depending on how much coffee you drink a day, and we drink a shitload of coffee that's, a day. That's like 69 cents. It's 69 that's cents. Very nice. so that's how much you're going to be saving. So 1775 coffee, brewed to perfection, crafted with revolution. Revolution. All right, we're back to it. Let's get... Uh, so Fanny Willis, God, that was... Jay, in terms of... The only reason you know, why Faye, Faye, Faye Beebe comes in and says it's bad advertising is well, because she gets as red as Shyla when I take my shirt off. Shyla? Shyla? Chayalea? Chayalea. Chayalea. Is it high or high? Chaya? 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 Leia. Chayalea. What? Shyalea. Did I say Shyalea? Well, I mean, Shyalea, <laughs> Chayalea. Okay, I'll let. So, so you're saying Faye gets really red from drinking three bottles of wine? Taking my shirt off. Man. Oh, God damn it! Why do you? Why do you? Why do you always do this to me, Mom? My friends. Why, <laughs> why do you do this to me? All right, back to Fanny. We got some Fanny. We got more Fanny videos. Do we not? We do. We got a lot more Fanny vi videos. Beautiful. Well, no, no, no. Look. I object to you getting records. You've been intrusive into people's personal lives you're confused you think i'm on trial these people are on trial for trying to steal an election in 2020 i'm not on trial no matter how hard you try to put me on trial so my you're, question you're was literally on trial do you have any i object to getting any personal records of mine we're not dealing with privilege through a witness and i'm not no, no no i'm not dealing with privilege what um we had offered to put them in camera for the court to review and i just want to know if she has any That's problem not something to do with a witness okay. well no 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 look I object to you getting records. You've been intrusive into people's personal lives. You're confused. You think I'm on trial. These people are on trial for trying to steal an election in 2020. I'm not on trial, no matter how hard you try to put me on trial. So my question Oh, was, you're about to be on trial. Wait, did I just object to getting any yes, personal yes, records of mine. <laughs> we're not... We did. We watched it twice. Oh, okay. We're, we're going to see her on trial. Absolutely. After all of this shit. I mean, yeah, put, it would, put, it would be like put, to the, put Nathan on. Nathan? Yeah, put Nathan on. Nathan Nathan, Nathan Wad. Nathan Wade. Nathan Wood. Nathan Nathan, Nathan, Nathan Wood. Wood. Nathan Nathan, Wood. Nathan Nathan Wade. Nathan Wade. Special prosecutor, by the way. He's like the Robert Mueller of Georgia. Because that's what he was, special prosecutor. All right. Let's so imagine or, Robert, or, or, So imagine or, or, or her. So imagine Robert Mueller uh slept with uh Christopher Ray. Uh, I thought you were going to say Kamala Harris, and I was like, they probably did. She probably sucked his dick. Wait. Oh, Robert Mueller and Kamala? Yeah. Do, do you think he knew what was going on? Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, he didn't really know much. So here's Faye. It's true. Going. I blush red. Uh, uh, yep. Faye, you Faye. remember paying for a cabin Blushing six red. months ago in Tennessee? No. you remember booking a cabin? I booked lots of cabins. Hey, care to explain that Did one? Did you go to a cabin with Miss Willis ever? Ever. 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 <laughs> Look at the pause. <laughs> <laughs> the sniff. It's so good. What is he doing? Bro, you gotta say something. <laughs> Holy no. shit. Never gone to <laughs> no. um, um. 
Have you ever gone to <laughs> Bro, he like didn't say a word for like five minutes. And Dude, it's, it's amazing. Oh. It's it's amazing. It's holy like, shit. It, it's like when <laughs> when you get in trouble with your dad or something. Like, <laughs> it's like did, did you ditch school? Were you at the internet cafe on Monday? Did you ever go to the internet cafe during school hours? Only when there was a research project. <laughs> That's how you got that. He should have gotten out of it. There's more? Are you telling me there's more? There's more. There's more. Holy shit. That 30 seconds, it's been 40 seconds, and half of that was him pausing. No. <laughs> no. Um, have you ever gone to Tennessee with yep. Miss Willis? Yes. Okay. When was that? That was, that was the day. Around 20, <laughs> 20, 20, 22, early 2022. Early 2022? Okay. It was a, it was a, a, a day trip. Um, a day trip? Okay. So you didn't spend we the night? Were, so it was a day trip. Okay. We would drive there have lunch, drive back. Um, the reason we would do that is because the attention, she couldn't get any peace of mind going locally. So we'd get in my car. And I'm sorry. To <laughs> I'm sorry. Someplace is he saying there. that Fanny Willis is back. basically like Taylor Swift? <laughs> This the dude is saying it's getting so good. It, it is gets better and better. It really does. It gets so good. Like, oh Fanny Willis, she can't go out in public anymore. She can't even go to the grocery shop to pick up, you know, a carton of milk and, and <laughs> condoms have, anymore. We gotta drive all over Tennessee because she's too famous she's in, so in Atlanta. Fucking famous. She's so fucking my girlfriend's so fucking famous. You know she probably has a she has a private jet, right? <laughs> well, I mean, she, At this rate. she just gets money out of nowhere. It's always been there. Money's always there. Money's always everywhere. Man. Money, money, money. Money. Well, we spent. Money. So, Fanny Willis, is there any more? Not, I know that was our last clip, as Spencer has indicated to me, because actually he's doing his job for once. Right. Um, but do we think we're going to get a day two of this? Uh, dude, I, if there is any, any sense of like justice or people who are going to like the, any sense of no one is above, above the law, which doesn't exist in America. Then we are going to see them slapped with shit it's a double tomorrow. It's a double it has to, she cannot be, she can't be, um, preside, uh, like presiding over this case anymore. It's tainted. She lied. Right. And even if everything else around the case is true, she lied. She lied about her relationship with the with this guy. She right. lied when when it started. She lied about how did they come out that those two were actually um like an item? Somebody recognized her uh when they went to Tennessee. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice, nice. Wouldn't that be fucking hilarious if that's how it happened? Um oh uh, apparently dude, Ben says there's the, Ben Ben says there's one more. You can still see. Look at this. This is uh when oh, you... that's right. We have Fanny Wells has started the shit show persecution of Trump with this weirdo freak. Oh, that's right. This is... <laughs> Nathan Wade, I love this. Hold on, flapper. Flapper on locals was saying Nathan Wade making the same face Siraj makes when someone asks him if he's ever swallowed before. <laughs> uh, okay, so this uh, this is like um, now this the name of this girl is like Emily something, not my Emily, different Emily. But also she gives a Jewish. bad name to Emily's. <laughs> In fact, most Emily who's not my Emily gives a bad name to Emily's. 100%. Essentially. So this is the Fulton County juror went public in 2023, which then sparked the 
actual case that was brought against Trump by Fannie Willis. So let's listen to this. This is this, this, my hair is still not growing. I wanted back. to hear from the former president, but honestly, I kind of wanted to subpoena the former president because I got to swear everybody in. And so I thought it'd be really cool to get 60 seconds with President Trump of me looking at him and being like, do you solemnly swear? And me getting to swear him in. I just, I kind of just thought that would be an awesome moment. Person. She was removed from the jury, wasn't she? Yeah. Was she? Like, they actually removed her? I don't know. Let's actually look I'm, into this. I'm just, I, I shoot from the hit sometimes, and you gotta, you gotta fact check me when I, when I do that kind of shit. Yeah, I'm gonna fact check you right now. Um, so let's see, who's that? Jury? While you're doing that, you guys see that I'm missing hair. Oh, yeah, around, that's right. Like around and around my nipples is because we were advertising that we were going to shave the, um, write Wax. a J wax a, a J on Siraj's chest on uh on locals and you know of course it gets to that point and what happened was Siraj went crying to to his wife saying oh my god Jay's going to wax my chest mama please get me out of this I don't want it to hurt <laughs> I don't want it to hurt it's gonna feel so bad so she she you know stuck up for her husband she did the 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 right thing mm -hmm. and uh, basically kicked me in the nuts and told me that I'm the one who needs to do it. <laughs> so so and cool. because, you know, a lot of the Habibs were waiting for four fucking hours for one of us to wax our chest. I decided to just put two on my on my nipples and Siraj ripped them off. And it was probably the funniest shit we've ever seen. That was pretty fucking funny. It was so good. And I still got hair missing. Like this has been this is two weeks ago too. No, the, I want to do. Oh, you mean growing on your chest? Yeah, I want to do. Or uh, this was like a week ago. Sorry, and I want to do the rest of my chest now. So, in spite of that grand jury four person, uh, Emily Kors, her name is, um, going forward and saying all those things, I can't find anywhere where she was actually removed. She probably wasn't. This the is whole thing. Is the whole thing is fucking rigged. Whole thing's rigged, like the Super the Bowl. The whole thing is like the Super rigged. Bowl. Super Bowl's rigged, Jay. Dude, the Super Bowl absolutely was rigged. Do you think they, that, they, there you, were you, there were thirteen hold calls they didn't call on the uh, on the the uh, no, there's no way Chiefs, that was thirteen. The Chiefs offense. So that's the thirteen. Like half of them. Half so of that's the thirteen tie-in for for Taylor Swift. Exactly right. And she beat no, and, and, and she beat number thirteen. And especially, her personally, especially if you go and you see how many times they, they held on Nick Bosa specifically 13 it's fucking insane it's insane how many how many whole calls were not called against the chiefs okay. but it's fine i mean i digress uh the swifties nfl got what they wanted and now we know nfl so the psyop the, is, psyop it's, it's is uh, complete the psyop is complete speaking of psyops another psyop that people thought was a psyop i mean if you're anti-semitic we had the good folks the good ladies from two from ask a jew podcast oh yeah we did Kyalea. And Yael Bartour. Chaya Leia. Chaya. Chaya Leia. Uh, they were great. So if you if you haven't watched the episode, that was the that was the one we did on Tuesday, episode two oh eight. Yes. Um, the ceasefire special. Um, a lot of fun with that. We actually didn't get a whole lot of opportunity to talk about one story, and that was about UNRWA. Yeah. Um, UNRWA was doing some shit. I need to actually like expand my screen here so I can actually see what this tweet is saying. This is this is from uh I don't know what Philip, Philippe, Philippe, you want to, you want, you want to help me out with that, that Jay? It is, uh, I am gay and I have Hamas fuck me in the ass. All right. There Arini. you go. From the UN. Arini, from the tweets UN. out, UNRWA did not know what is under its headquarters in Gaza. UNRWA is made aware of reports through the media regarding a tunnel under the UNRWA headquarters in Gaza. UNRWA staff left its headquarters in Gaza City on 12th of October following the Israeli evacuation orders and as bombardments intensified in the area. We have not used that compound since we left it, nor are we aware of any activity that may have taken place there. We understand, though, media reporting that the Israeli army has deployed troops within the UNRWA headquarters in Gaza City. We are therefore unable to confirm or otherwise comment on these reports. In times of no active conflict, UNRWA inspects inside its premises every quarter. The last inspection for the UNRWA Gaza premises was completed in September 2023. How convenient. 
how convenient. UNRWA is a human development and humanitarian organization that does not have the military security expertise nor the capacity to undertake military inspections of what is or what or might might be under its premises. In the past, whenever suspicious activity, oh, whoa, ho, 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 ho. is that supposed to be activity? How I read it was suspicious, suspicious activity, but they wrote, they threw me a loop there. They wrote fucking cavity. <laughs> All right, so maybe maybe in the past, whenever suspicious cavity was, all right, this guy was clearly found, does not speak English. No, no, yeah, yeah. Well, whenever a suspicious, not activity, but suspicious cavity, cavity was yeah. found close or under the UNRWA premises, protest uh, letters were promptly uh, filed to parties to the conflict, including both the de facto authorities in Gaza, which is Hamas, and the Israeli authorities. The matter was con uh, constantly reported in, in an anal reports presented to the General Assembly, uh, Assembly and made public. These are all fucking lies. Every fucking point this guy is making is lying. He's a liar. You, There is no way... And, and it's also been coming out that people have oh. have known of rumblings and vibrations that have been happening uh, on uh, different occasions underneath their headquarters. And then, of course, Israel went in and, and found the, the access into tunnels, access into where Gaza, where Hamas was was stealing um, their server feed and stealing information from them. UNRWA, the UN. Yeah. So for people who don't know, UNRWA is specifically and only formed in Gaza. UNRWA is not a humanitarian thing anywhere else in the world. UNRWA is only a, humani a humanitarian uh, organization in Gaza. And uh, they, they look over schooling. They are supposed to look over making sure there's enough for, for the Gazanians to eat that there's enough uh, aid and, and uh, food going to uh, Gazanians, uh, enough medical supplies. But none of that has been happening under the watch of UNRWA because UNRWA is 100% compromised by Hamas. 100%. Not, not 50%, not 30%, not 69%, 100% 100 compromised by Hamas. Every single one of them knew about it. Every single one of them uh, speaks with the, with their handlers within uh, Hamas. Every single one of them knew about the tunnels that were extensive underneath the whole of Gaza. The whole fucking city of Gaza. And right now we have we have a president who wants to reward these terrorists with their own state. They want to put Blinken and, and the uh, Biden administration wants to put pressure on Israel to make a two state because they have communists and they have been compromised in the state department, compromised in the white house chief, chief of staff staff. Why the, they have been compromised throughout every fucking department within the United States with communists and with these little pieces of fucking garbage who would rather side with terrorists than side with the United States and make no mistake Saying you want a two-state solution while Hamas is still on power is siding with terrorists over America. Doesn't matter if if your uh, what what your views are on Israel or any any of that kind of fucking bullshit. Whatever your views on that uh, on that kind of stuff makes zero fucking uh, sense to me. If you are still saying that their two-state solution means it's better for America than not, it is actually kind of insane how. In spite of everything that's been going on, there's still people clamoring for a two-state solution. These people are fucking retarded, like the <laughs> like like Hassan Piker and his fucking followers. Like, he, he, there's no going back. There seriously is no going back. Hamas made the um, Hamas <laughs> their entire charter is the destruction of Israel. You yes. cannot live side by side and expelling every Jew. You from can't the land. live side by side with a person who's been trying with. It doesn't matter if your neighbor if your neighbor is trying to kill you every day and they have like publicly declared that they're going to try to kill you and they constantly like lob grenades over your house you're you're naturally going to fight back are you not you're not you're going to you're going to just take it down lying down no of course, not. of course not absolutely not so i just don't understand why there's so many people who think hamas is somehow these freedom fighters it is because of the extensive 
I know it's what, brainwashing. You want to say brainwashing uh, I mean, They have to be brainwashed. No, it, it really is. And look, it doesn't matter if it's, it doesn't have to be one source that has been dictating and controlling all of this at once. That's not, that's not what happened here. What happened here has been an ideology that has infected starting from elementary schools all the way through universities that have now been infected in corporations, infected in, in state departments, Insane. infected in foreign policy, infected. These are, these are diseases and these people should be taken out like you take out people like you're you're uh, a SWAT team in Rainbow Six. Oh, I thought you meant like take them out to like dinner. No, no, you take them out like you take out zombies. Which I take dinner. You don't. You don't. You don't dine. You don't wine and dine a zombie before you fuck them, Jay. Because that's what I do. We play Call of Duty together. I didn't. I didn't shoot a single zombie. <laughs> <laughs> there has been a few times that happened. All I did was hump. Uh, hump, that's... hump, hump, hump. Oh God! I had to go and pick you up so many fucking. <laughs> Great dust. Man, um, man. So, w with respect, was there anything else on related that we forgot? On on no, uh, there wasn't. No, they, but they, I, but uh, they, it they, doesn't. Yeah, we've talked about. They need to be expelled. They need to be held as uh, conspirators with the uh, with terrorists, and they they are our enemies. They are. The United Nations and UNRWA is the enemy of the United States. They hold no value to our national security whatsoever, and they should be taken out. So this is Owen. Of the discussion and taken out of our fucking national budget as well. All right. So this is Owen Jones. I guess some has some socialist and was anti-fascist. I can't see the whole bio. So uh, he, Owen Jones is just a, you know a retard. Is? Yes, he's a, he's he's from the UK. Okay, he's a fucking mentally ill piece of shit like he is literally a retard who hates the west and i for the life of me i do not know why he stays in the uk to just eat his fucking beans and toast go go to yemen go suck off putin's dick like get the fuck out i mean i don't understand these i love people. i love they, this. keep on staying this is, habibi, habibi bros is the only place where you tell people well literally will tell foreigners to just leave their fucking country <laughs> 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 Never get that anywhere else. Only on our baby bros. Uh, so Owen Jones tweets out, what a load of desperate bullshit. There's tunnels everywhere under Gaza, and even if these are under UNRWA's HQ, that's completely irrelevant to UNRWA. Israel lies and lies and lies again. This is a desperate attempt to A, crush UNRWA, and B, deflect from Israel's atrocities. So he admits, he concedes that there's tunnels everywhere under Gaza. Who built the tunnels, Jay? No, no. Who built the tunnels? Owen, you fucking retard. Sorry. I... Owen Jones, you fucking moron. Who I... built them? And and he's like, they've been everywhere. So who cares if they're under UNRWA? UNRWA? Well, then who gives a fuck if it, uh, Israel bombs the fucking shit out of everywhere in Gaza? You just admitted it. You admitted Hamas uses tunnels underneath everywhere in Gaza. So if I am if I'm doing military actions against Hamas, guess what the fuck I'm going to do? Bomb the loving shit out of Palestine and Gaza. Like this bomb level the whole fucking place and get rid of them. If Root you think about it. That fucking evil out from from the soil. Honestly, Hamas is the worst thing to ever happen to Palestinians. I feel like you and I have known Palestinians all throughout our life, Jay. It's not like we don't know them. Right. Yeah, for some reason the issue about the, like Israel and Palestine, like it's almost like a cancer on their brain. Mm -hmm. Like the, they don't, they can't conceive of the possibility that they might be on the wrong side here. <laughs> well, it's also like the, the whole idea of like it's tied to, it's, an oppressor it, and all right, that kind I understand of stuff. That. And, and the fact that the pigment of, of, uh, a, and a minority of Israelis, by the way, is white. More than 52% of them are Arab Israelis. And you know what needed to happen in order for there to be an Arab Israeli? There had to be extractions. Like there were major, major operations throughout the uh, Arab the world yeah, to get where Israelis out. had to take, had to go and, 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 and rescue. Uh, rescue, not just take 
rescue, rescue Jews, Jews living in other pay countries. ransoms, fucking do whatever it took to, in order to get them uh, get them back home. And over here, you have the New York Times. So uh, Rafa, um, the IDF, they they uh, orchestrated a rescue attempt with uh, hostages that on, were being held in in Rafa on and Super Rafa, Bowl night on Super Bowl night and Rafa. Was where uh, they were told to like the 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 um, civilians were told to go Refu and refuge. Yeah, ref for refuge. So the yeah. fact that you have them in in uh, Rafa as well, it just goes to show like how many Palestinian lives Hamas does not give a fuck about because they'll use them as cannon fodder and, and human shields. Yeah. So the IDF uh, they orchestrated a rescue attempt. They went and, and and got them. And look at how the New York Times betrayed this. They literally said, they literally wrote the headline, Palestinians in Rafa described night full of horror during Israeli hostage rescue. That's when did we ever hear once? Did we ever hear once Germans fear for their lives over bombing Nazi, uh, uh, Nazi uh, buildings? I'm actually intrigued. Maybe the New York Times actually did publish something like that. Well, they did do it. Uh, I don't know if it was the New York just, Times, but the Times did name um, the Time a Time magazine named uh, Hitler. Yeah, uh, but no, the New York Times specifically is complicit in covering up for the crimes of the Nazis against Jews. Yes, because the I, for for whatever reason I heard the uh, the publisher the the guy who owned it he was Jewish and doesn't want to look like sympathetic to the Jews because he'd rather sell newspapers than, I don't know, report the actual fucking news. That's what I've heard. Have you heard that? No, I did. I didn't hear that. I heard, well, I heard, um, uh, or maybe I'm making that shit up. But you that's what you I probably are. Who'd you I hear from? Did I you thought, hear from a WhatsApp group? No, actually I thought I read that in Batia's book. In Batia's book? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, the, she had. Yeah, she had an excerpt on something about the times, but I don't know. I didn't. The whole book is basically it was about him, like him being being Jewish. The the start of her book was about this independent uh, news agency that was running uh, and how it became dominant and it became the New York Post. Really? We gotta go read it again. <laughs> Sorry about you. <laughs> and then we have her on again. But it's yeah. a, it's a fascinating book. We I think that's really what it was. Read her book and then have her on to discuss. Yes. It again. <laughs> <laughs> Just go back around with it. Just recycle old content. Yes, and uh, I mean, uh, once she's done being uh, as famous as she is, to come back on our on our show, that would be uh, great. Cold Beer sixty nine said, actually, yes, they did in Dresden, the New York Times. I figured, I think they did. Yeah, I remember the Dresden they reported on. Um. Flapper then says, love how Siraj is pretending that he read a book. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did just finish. Uh, what, what did of, you finish? What is it? Of Blood oh. and Ash? And then you're, you're on like matters and, Matter and Consequences. Oh, no, no. From from Blood and Ash uh, by Jennifer uh, Armentrout. Damn. Uh, I know. But it's so it's it's part of these books that are, are supposedly like these amazing books women are reading. And I was reading this book, and it was absolute fucking horseshit. It was trash. It was such a bad book. And what I, I mean, I knew exactly I still, what was I happening. I don't know why you read it. Just so you know, when I talk to a woman who's read the book, <laughs> you know what I mean. Oh, you say I you read it. it. You read it to get. You read it to catch chicks. You read it to the basically. It's yeah, like, it's I, also, like, I also read the game to learn how to fucking pick up chicks. You don't yeah. read, Jay. I'm, I'm married. I don't need to pick up chicks. So why would I want to do that? I'm not saying to pick up ch chicks. I asked, do you read? And you're like, why should I do that? I'm married. Hold on. I'm, I'm about to do. I'm, I'm about to do. <laughs> this is my. That's my Nathan Wade, Fanny Willis impression. <laughs> <laughs> do you read? No. <laughs> uh, oh, shit. So, uh, Jay, we didn't. Ever, I don't know if we got a chance to talk about this. How Biden? Um, you know how you know how Joe Biden 
the Robert Hur report came out. Yeah. And they basically said that, oh, Joe Biden is a, you know, he's, uh, we feel bad about putting him on trial because he's a well meaning man with a poor memory. Okay. Yeah, that and was then, uh, and, Robert Hur. Yeah, I know. It goes on to say that, or at least Joe Biden did this during his press conference. Yeah. <laughs> he said that he like lost his shit when they brought up Bo Biden. Right. Um, and he's like, basically like, they said like, Bo Biden, he didn't remember. That was so fucking sick. That's exactly how he sounded. To me, at least. That's that how he sounded. Good, that was some good ASMR right there. Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay so uh he there's there's literally a report that came out i don't know if it was today or yesterday i think it was i think it was yesterday but basically saying that the whole concept or this whole accusation that biden made about robert her bringing up bo biden is a complete lie because Robert Hur never asked about Bo Biden. Joe Biden just brought him up out yeah. of nowhere. <laughs> and got the day and got the year wrong. And got the year wrong. So like he it's it, no no, it's amazing. And and it's so funny because the, the the his handlers told him his handlers told him to use to the death of his son to try and get sympathy points and paint Robert Hur as as the the the, the evil one on this. Uh, what I want to say though about this Jay is this is interesting. It's, it's an interesting play going at, uh, at right here, because to me, if I were Biden, I would simply make the argument that I am cognitively with it because I had the uh, foresight and um, poor decision making. Well good decision making but for uh, selfish reasons to lie to america's face about bo biden and then have that report come out because obviously he's got to be somewhat with it if he's gonna lie like that i don't i don't well he's lied about uh bo like since the bo died they've so been maybe, lying maybe about we're at death. the point where like it's it's not a lie if you believe it right that's that's where that's where you're at right now and now they want to so the the house committee want uh robert heard to testify in front of congress and that is going to be amazing i can't it wait actually for that is going to happen that is going to happen i don't know if it's going to happen but they they wanted that um they want that uh to happen okay so so they're gonna they're gonna start um questioning them in front of them and and to go over it and you know what it is so funny how quickly it is okay to attack the special counsel. Because I remember, I fucking remember not even four years ago that if you attack a special counsel, then you're attacking democracy. Then you are attacking the very foundation of freedom here in the United States of America. And you hate this country with the very fiber of your being. You know, I'm just going to kill you after the, this for probably waking the baby, right? Oh wait, was I was I lying? <laughs> I'm very sorry. That was not me. Have you, you, I was I was baited. I was bamboozled after I fucking took my nipples off for you. I know. Well, I should not have heard anything. Of that <laughs> <whatsoever>. <laughs> and we're totally in the clear. Um. So yeah, but you don't think that. What if what if Nathan Wade, instead of being called a special prosecutor, just renamed would you, himself to special counsel? Would you would you rather? Let's, let's hear this. I'm scared. <laughs> would you rather shit your pants every time somebody called you, or pee a little bit everyone uh, every time somebody thought of your name? Uh. And just randomly, you don't know who thought of you. It just every time somebody your name comes up, somebody's mind, you pee yourself, like a little bit throughout the whole fucking day. But hey, yeah, every time it, somebody calls you, you shit your pants. Obviously, I go with thinking of of my name and or, and just peeing and peeing. And peeing. Yeah. Okay, because you know, there's a lot of gay people on Twitter that think about you daily. So like, you be peeing as they come. <laughs> Wow. 
where the fuck did this come from, Jack? <laughs> <laughs> I want to know what what's going just, through your mind I right now. I wanted to uh, like this helped me understand you a little bit better. You want to know why, Jay? Tell me. Because it's easier to get pee out in the laundry. <laughs> <laughs> For the people who don't know, Siraj has forever laundry duty. And I mean forever laundry duty. Like literally after this, I'm going to go fold laundry. Oh, my <laughs> fucking God. It's never ending. It's every single day, 45 minutes. It's like <laughs> the whole music plays in this house. And it's <laughs> and it's played by LG. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is. Um, it's quite a it's quite a jingle. I should sample that. Honestly, we should we should sample it, it and put it into our intro. Yeah, put a <laughs> uh Colby69 on local says, Where the fuck did this would you rather come from? I know, right? <laughs> I asked the exact same shit. I, what? It's pretty fucking deep. You want you that like is... you know your partner and you want to have a conversation with them, and it's a pretty good it's a pretty good way to open why would conversation. I sh- why would I want to share? shit myself or at all like why would you go well now look because you don't have the mystery of who's calling you for you to shit yourself but you will always have the mystery of who the fuck's thinking of you and why are you constantly peeing yourself and then you find out i have come all over my (laughs) sheets see this is what shouldn't have happened this is actually the show is going getting worse because we got together. <laughs> or this is gold. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, no, no. It's, <laughs> I, just, I just had to. Um, <laughs> Blaffer on Local says the stream has devolved into Jay's Lemon Party fantasies. <laughs> I didn't know what a Lemon Party was as well. Hey, I, who told me I was- found a potential Lemon Party participant for you. Who? The the Bolt, the Butler County Sheriff. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, the Butler County Sheriff did not even of like a, not even like of a border county or border state. This guy is in fucking Ohio. (laughs) (laughs) So I'm pretty sure uh, local, the local Habibi, local Ohioan uh, Carl was, was present. Yeah. So we actually got this, uh, this prep, there was a presser that happened with this um, this Butler County sheriff. Yeah, and I I don't know. It's a twenty five minute uh, for. Have but you there missed, was one clip. You should though. go watch it. Well, well, we have timestamps, so you'll find it right now. But uh, Habibi should go watch the 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 whole thing in, in its in entirety. And he's talking about a um, a sheriff conference. Uh, where you know the sheriffs uh, from all over for the country, they get together to go over issues um, that happen on the local level. And he was talking about how within the four years that Biden has been president, he's never uh, met with them, not once through this whole thing. Uh, and he goes into actually the dire right here, right here. I actually got that timestamp uh, of what he was talking about. Uh, Biden, yeah, go ahead, play. It. Just came back. From the national share. Perfect. Did I mute the website? No, I didn't. Did I turn on the sound? I did. What am I missing? Jay? Is your how's everybody doing today? Good morning, Sheriff. Okay, we're gonna shut the doors. No. All right, I guess we're not gonna hear it then. <laughs> I honestly don't know what happened there, Jay. It's okay. I don't, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll get it. We'll get an extra because we're, we're getting past the 69 minutes and we can go, we can go and, and react to some. Cause do, do we have some more shit to react to? I don't know. Did the Habibis uh, said anything? Said anything? Did we put anything? Did we put anything in there? Any oh hell yes? There's no oh hell yes. Oh uh, yeah. This right here. Taylor. Taylor trash. Trailer trash. Trailer, trailer. No, no. Okay. They, they cannot be called trailer. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, so if if I'm a couple, being called trailer, be, yeah, being called trailer would would that would that fuck up a lot. That of would things. that would piss me off a lot. But, but I have I have but, a, which I, means we have to just keep calling them trailer. I have a few things that we could be watching. Oh yeah, let's go. 
So I'll be da- let me download it. Let me download. Oh, you got to download. Oh, you yeah. got to download it. Let me download some the of the flapper. Stuff. You go ahead. You go ahead and, and put some of the land maps in the world. What stuff? I don't. Have... Wild. Oh god, we have something. Linguistically, culturally, oh yeah, this is a, it's after, hard to run a country like that for twenty-four years. Whether Carlson you like it or not. Talking about... So an incapable person couldn't do that. He is very capable, and many of you Moscow. know him, and you know that. Dubai. What was radicalizing, very shocking, and very disturbing for me was the city of Moscow, where I'd never been, the biggest city in Europe, thirteen million people. And it is so much nicer than any city in my country. I had no idea. My father spent a lot of time there in the 80s when he worked for the US government and barely had electricity. And now it is so much cleaner and safer and prettier aesthetically. It's architecture, it's food, it's service than any country, in city in the United States that you have to, and this is not ideological. How did that happen? How did that happen? And at a certain point, I don't think the average person cares as much about abstractions as about the concrete reality of his life. And if you can't use your subway, for example, as many people are afraid to in New York City because it's too dangerous, you have to sort of wonder, like, isn't that the ultimate measure of... Actually, I mean, like, people thought he was simping for Russia by saying that, right? Dude, he had another video simping for... He is simping for so, Russia. But, like... Like, completely simping hold on. for Russia the whole time. I heard time. Moscow was fucking beautiful, though. Not, like, from Tucker, but, like, from... yeah. There are certain areas in L.A. that are beautiful. New York. There are places in New York that are beautiful. Okay. There are places in a lot of other right. areas that are I get that beautiful. beauty is in the eye of the beholder. It's not even in the eye of the beholder, though. He is talking He, he like, is talking about a very specific place, a Moscow. very specific area that they want him to see. It's like going to North Korea and saying North Korea is amazing. North Korea has internet, and none of them know how to use internet. Well, well, how do you know North that, Korea how has shopping they, malls? How do you know they limited his movement? He went only to the he best paid places. For his own trip. He did, but he has. He probably has a a, a handler and a tourist. He's not, dude. The whole thing is a I mean, fucking look, psyop. He he was over there at the grocery I don't doubt, store I don't trying doubt to talk that, about I don't how doubt the, that the grocery has its own like bad neighborhoods and bad parts of town. Do you know how what the average income in uh, in Moscow and all of Russia is? Do you know what it is? I think the point he's trying to make, though, Jay, is that in the central parts of the city, they haven't completely turned to shit like in other part, other cities in the United States. Dude, central parts of the cities aren't like totally fucking messed up. On the outskirts skirts of them, they are fucked up. But if you go to if you go to like Santa Monica, Santa Monica is nice. You go to the outskirts of it, there's it's fucked up. Downtown L.A. Downtown LA, LA is nice. You go to the Shut outskirts. The fuck up. It's not nice. Yeah, dude. The restaurants, the the Siri, the the Staples Center. They've moved all of those people out. Jay, it's, cri- it's crypto.com arena. <laughs> now, now all of them are luxury luxury uh, apartments and I don't even all that know kind if of shit. It's all crypto.com arena anymore. But, but look, the average. You know what the average income is in in the United States? What? I mean, the average income in in Russia. Average annual income in Russia. Annual. Um, let's see. Fifty-two dollars, a dollar a week. No, no, like in all honesty, it's thirteen thousand dollars. Wow, thirteen a year. A year. But what's the standard of living in? And the standard of I'm living. I'm sure it's expensive in Moscow. The, look, the stand, You want you want to hear the standard of living is that not every apartment has plumbing, so you have to shit in an outhouse. Oh, yeah, that's right. Remember, Not every place has Sochi. electricity. I remember Sochi. And, remember and not Sochi? only that, yes, I remember Sochi. And not only that, the average American in the United States spends 10 to 15% of his income on food. In Russia, it's 30%. Shit. So the standard of living is not there. This is all bullshit that they're talking about. Stalin created the um the 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 infrastructure people talk about that that's being so beautiful and the reason why they did it is the same reason why that, north korea builds the shit that they do while there's famine and I people did, starving i will say i will say this all right i will concede the point that it probably comes off as for for one recency bias because he was just there and two i think he either one Putin knows where he lives <laughs> and has ways of getting to him. Maybe he ran away scared. Maybe there's a there's a part of him that actually does like Russia, though. He's he's a media, he's a hypocrite. 
That's what Tucker Carlson is, is pure and simple. You want to talk about being butthurt over the media lying by omission. And then you come over here, you, you go over to Russia to just promote the shit they want you to promote without talking about what it is actually like to live in Russia. You go and you take a touristy tour of the fucking place and you go and you ride the Stalin uh, metro because they built it in order for them to to use it as propaganda that the Soviet Union is not failing. Mm -hmm. And you want to cry about somebody lying about omission? This is this is hypocrisy at the finest. At the finest. 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 So, uh, Jesus, Jay, where did that come from? I don't know. I, I, I've, it was, it's been pin dumping me like, like, you know, you know, when I like to edge myself over yeah. and over and mm -hmm. over again and then just have all that wad go inside you. That's what, it, dude, don't fucking play this. Get the, the, the fucking thing out of the <laughs> fucking mind. It's so Anyways, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and show some, uh, some some videos for us to to react to instead. Let's go. I, I like the sound of that. Maybe maybe they'll play one of these days. I'm trying to to see where I can uh, share. If I wanted to share, you can share it. I will share it. Share it. All right, here we go. All right. Try, trying to trains go through buildings. <laughs> Shit. Oh, I can't believe that's a real video. Uh, no, that's a that that is a real video. Uh, hold on, let me let me get back on. I got uh oh. Let me get you a. Let me There's a one. cold beer in the, in the locals. We yeah. want to see your nudes. Come on, show us your nude, baby. Show us the nudes, I mother. love you. We love you. Mm. <laughs> Hello, baby. Oh, uh, uh, you gotta sorry. keep that. We gotta uh, keep it's, that. It's it's it's. Wonderful. Hello, baby. Uh, this is how this is how I approached. Uh, this is how I approached Siraj to do H H P H. Their name. My name is DeMarco Fleming. Are you gay? I'm bisexual. Are you top or bottom? I'm a top, dom top, aggressive top. Can you describe what yeah. dom top means? Dom top means, which means I grab you by your back and neck, put your face down, ass up, and fuck the shit out of you, and have you walk crazy for days. Walk crazy for days? Crazy for days, which means you'd be real sore, and you'd be calling me on the phone. Daddy DeMarco, I need help. I need, I'm, I'm sore. Give me some town off. That's what that means. All right. Uh, honestly, I don't think I can handle it, but I appreciate your honesty. I know you can't handle it. I can tell the way you walk you can't handle it. My dick is big. They call me King Kong in my pants. I know you can't handle it, but I'll make sure I go real gentle with you. Because you're cute. Thank you so much. I like it gentle. All right. Okay. I got you all Thank day. you so much. I cannot kiss, though. You cannot kiss? No, I have a boyfriend. He has a boyfriend. I got yeah. a husband. What does that mean? I can't see their age. Period. Thank you again. Holla. It's a pleasure. My pleasure. Got Thank you. you. You're awesome. <laughs> where do we get where do we find this stuff and this is this is how i'm gonna i want to go um uh, for july 4th this this right here like this is wifey material like a hundred percent wifey material jay you know she probably got burnt like first or second degree burns dude it, it, right there, like the that's the that char flavor. You know how you get the char char burgers smoke. and shit. That's, that's a smoked, smoked charred flavor. That's <laughs> that's what that I want. It smoked. That that is that hot. is roast beef right there. Yeah, you fire it out of the ass and then that's, fire it out is, of my mouth. That is, that's that is a roast. That is the way we do it. <laughs> uh, uh, in yeah. the local chat, we got some stuff. Do we want we want which one first? I guess Jay, uh, <laughs> Flapper Jay, where do you find this stuff? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's God. my favorite fucking shit. It's so uh, good. All right. So this is from uh this is from Cold Beer 69. Okay. So he's the Star Trek very short treks. It doesn't matter your species, if you're old generation or new, if you're animated on twos or sixes, love is the answer. Hit it, Scotty. It doesn't matter if you're OG or new, or if you're 
skin is magenta or blue. Or green. You call yourself Ferengi or Klingon. Klingon. Life's a party. A party, party to bring on. on. A party. Let your love spread like it's discovery. Help your addict friends with their recovery. Because if you want to live long and prosper, get out with love on your beauty roster. Wait, duty roster is dick, right? Duty roster? Yeah, what the fuck is duty roster? Your duty roster. What the fuck is a duty roster? Your your duty roster. It's it's the paper you're taking shit on. <laughs> Oh, shy. Oh, cry. Oh, my. Oh, shy. Oh, cry. Oh, my. Oh, shy. Oh, cry. <laughs> yeah, rewind it. <laughs> Here we go. Watch this shit. Oh, my. Oh, shy. Oh, cry. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, shy. Oh, cry. Oh, my. If you wanna live long and prosper. Oh, my God. This is like a fucking It's insane. It's so funny. It it reminds me of like Kristen Stewart uh, and her her fucking thing too. Like this fucking shit. You being queer isn't living boldly. You being a fucking um person. Doesn't doesn't make it may mean you're living boldly. You're not living your true self. You're you are a retarded person who needs fucking help. Honestly, what I honestly do not understand. That's how you know I'm not live, gay, right? Live bold. Be yourself. No, I understand that. Duty roster. I'm still hung up on this. So okay. All right. All right. You Here. understand you, this, you understand this, gay this will help, culture. This this will help your mind also. You're a faggot. Are you are you ready for this? This is Let's gonna help it. your mind. All Let's, right. So you, you wake up and find uh, find yourself halfway inside your mother. So it's would you rather wake up and find yourself halfway inside your mother and your father halfway inside of you? What? And so would you would you uh, would you rather to get yourself out? Would you uh, rather push your push into your mom or push backward into your dad? No. No, no. So you're sandwiched no. in between your mom no. and your dad. No. <laughs> and there's only two ways to get out. Would you rather no. push it into your Don't mom? Don't do this. To-, <laughs> to to get out of your dad no. and go, or push into your dad to get out of your mom and go. I hate you so fucking much, Jay. I honestly like get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> Go get out of here. <laughs> Pack your shit and leave. <laughs> get your ass back here, Jay. Okay, she was trying to leave. That's disgusting, Jay. I can't believe. You would come. I can't believe. You would come up with such a would you rather. <laughs> that, is, that is enough to get people to unsubscribe, unfollow, block. Flapper. Can't just block it's cold beer 69. I hope Baba is watching. <laughs> I actually told them to never watch my show. Oh, yeah. I did. I, I absolutely 100% in with you on that fact. I let my mom watch the show, but I how does, never, I, never, ever. I uh, still to this day do not understand how your mom watches this show. I, I don't get it either. I don't. <laughs> it's, she is it's such, weird. Well, it, if it was your mom, obviously I'd go forward. <laughs> <laughs> to get out of my dad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. I can so see that <laughs> happening. My my parents coming up to you and being like, "Hey, we we saw you from across the room, Habibi," and we were just saying, 
thought you were a good time and maybe we could take you back to our oh, house God. and uh, form a little shish kebab. I would be, I would be in the middle of that shish kebab one night. <laughs> and it wouldn't even um, be like a meat, it would be like the pepper, <laughs> the, on- the, the onion. little slice of onion. <laughs> Oh uh, God! Um, what a right. night! That that is that is that's ridiculous. All right, so I this is. I hope I hope we don't get a, a a blog post on Flapper over this, Flapper.net. You know, maybe we need to talk more shit about Flapper to get on his radar and get published more often. Yeah, right. <laughs> Flapper, you're a key. You're like, he's Flapper is going to be like the the you know like the Dick Zer- you know Dick Zerto. No, it's a like a twitter account that basically reports and all like the libs on streaming flapper's gonna be that for us Uh, (laughs) it's like breaking tonight siraj and jay say the (laughs) n-word nuclear Uh, oh god all right right. man so uh jay you've been playing a lot of games lately yes and I might be playing uh, playing some tomorrow, and then of course some on Sunday too. But uh, right now we're playing uh, Pal World and Hell Divers. So tomorrow is probably Hell Divers. For those who under, don't understand what Pal World is, what is it? So Pal World is basically a skin of Pokemon, seriously. That uh, also incorporates like different kind of survival games too. So you have to build a base, uh, and uh, for you for you to level up. Mm-hmm. So you have to build like a house. And then you get into so it. And you it have has to like the the farming. MMO f- feel of it. Yes. So what I did was I it's built. Like, it's it's uh like open ended. Like yeah. there's no it's not there's no like there's no fin- real story. There's no story. There's, there's no, no finish. You're it. just going around basically building up. Building up like and, Minecraft. And yes. And uh, well, it's not as like you can't do as much creative things as you can in Minecraft. Uh-huh. But you can still like I built myself a house. And then I built all of uh, the beds for my pals to be outside in the cold. <laughs> and they farm. They farm for me. They mine for me. Uh, and um, basically what I've been doing in this is to prove that, yes, mm-hmm. you can build empires on slavery. <laughs> and that every major empire in the world started with slavery and that's how we've been this is gonna be flappers next uh clip they post on social be like uh, breaking jay just endorses slavery yeah (laughs) god damn right and then uh uh, hell divers is a lot of fun too hell divers is on steam and the ps5 and it is basically in the world of super troopers if you remember that movie uh that was out a little bit ago the one with the bugs the one with the bugs. Yes. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part meme that uh, everybody likes to use. So uh, that is the, the, the way that they have made that game. The mechanics in it are some some of it is pretty genius. And I have never I have never experienced it before. Uh, there are some bugs in it still here and there. And you can play up to four uh, four people. So Faye, you know, Faye BB over on X says, you know, five minutes ago, I was ready to congratulate you on a great show. And then you did this. And by this, it's the would you rather. Uh, yeah. Well, no. What what she means is that I just I got her all red, and into smut. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Faye, Faye. You know this is still this is don't don't let the last five seconds of who I am discourage you. <laughs> What's so funny about this, Jay? Is she's been like watching, like basically from the beginning. Yeah, from the, she's been she's been a Habibi she's, from like the, the absolute from the beginning. Beginning, and she comes back and still tunes in. And I wonder if she's seen any growth from us. <laughs> <laughs> Survey says maybe jury, not. <laughs> jury's still out. <laughs> Survey says. No. no. So, anyways, Habibis, I think that's gonna do it for us. That's been ninety minutes. <laughs> flapper, all what a, what a flapper, flapper, flapper blog, blog. Jay fantasizes about gay water sports. Siraj disgusted. <laughs> Trouble, gay, gay, gay or dice, <laughs> gay or dice. 
Trouble in Gyarados. <laughs> Gyarados. <laughs> Trouble in Gyarados. Oh, uh, that's so good. I love it. So good. Uh, All right, Habibis. Thank you all so much for joining us tonight on Habibi Power Hour. As always, go ahead and hit that like, follow, subscribe button. If you want to support us, join our locals because that's where we actually have a lot more fun, um, which you can also join our Habibi Discord server as a result. And, Jay, uh, we got other things coming out like March Madness. And, yes. Uh, you'll be able to also even just hang with us on streams because, yeah, we'll invite the Habibis. Depending on how cool we think you are and – because if you can't handle your shit on a stream, oh yeah, then obviously like <laughs> we've we've had we've, we've had, had to a bench, few we've had to like bench people. Yeah, there there's been a few um, that have been a lot of fun. Like uh, that, oh my god, uh, like you would want to punch them and like just have them knock out and, flapper, right? Uh, oh, absolutely, yeah, <laughs> flapper is like the, the number one. And then we also we also play games. Um, uh, with each other's feelings and emotions. That's right. We are very manipulative people. Absolutely. Yeah. That's the Arab in me. And, uh, that's true. So that, that's what I do. So, anyways, the BBs. I've been Suraj Hashmi. I'm a Jack Kobe. Thank you to Spencer and Ben, our producers, and they're fucking fired. We'll see you next time. Peace it. Masadama. <laughs>